Hi, my name is Garrett Rasmussen, owner of Varsity Performance and Fitness Training. Um, I'm here at the Volley Frogs um, Club Volleyball uh, Facility. We're going to be training Donnie Bass, who is a professional beach volleyball player. He's 31 years old and been playing volleyball for about uh, 10 years, and we're getting him ready for the East Coast Championship up in Atlantic City. We're going to take him through a comprehensive warm-up, uh, go into some leg work and shoulder work, uh, and then work on um, some plyos and conditioning. So let's get started. All right, so the first exercise we're going to do is a warm-up. This is really going to get the legs going, um, and this is going to be supported by the ball here, the physio ball. Uh, we're going to do a regular squat, so Donnie's going to drop down, drop in his hips down, low, pause at the bottom, come up slow. Good, a little bit faster than that. We're going to do 10 to 15 of these, drop down low again, right there, up. And basically what this is doing is it's warming up the knees, it's putting some blood in the muscles, um, getting us ready to stretch and our exercises. All right, so we're going to do 15, Donnie. Good. While he's doing that, I'll talk to you a little bit about um, exercises for beach volleyball. Um, it's a very grueling sport because you're working um, in the sand, out in the sun. Uh, the main muscles that we work in volleyball are legs, your calves, and your shoulders. So through this warm-up, we're going to be warming up those muscles. Um, and those are the muscles that are used for explosive jump, conditioning throughout, um, serving, setting, blocking, the main components of beach volleyball. Um, the next extra warm-up exercise we're going to do is a walking lunge. Again, uh, this is engaging all the muscles in our legs and we're putting some blood in there before we start some stretching. Uh, it's going to be a walking lunge. So Donnie's going to perform the walking lunge out towards the net here. He's going down, he's getting a good stretch, activating all of the legs. The main thing here is that we don't want his knee to go over his toe as he goes down. He's got perfect form right here. Again, these exercises are just warming up, just using the body weight, no resistance. Nice and smooth, and as the blood gets in there, we'll get the range of motion going a little bit more every step. That's important. Good. Okay, we've got some blood now working through the leg muscles. Um, and now we're going to go through an active stretch. The first stretch is going to be a stretch from the heel into the back here. And this is going to stretch the hamstring and um, the obliques a little bit. Good. This also stretches out the knee tendons, gets us ready for our plyometrics. This stretches out the front part of the leg, all four quadricep muscles. And every time Donnie pulls, you should, you should pull a little bit more and a little bit more, getting that range of motion going. One of the things we stress when we're doing our stretching is we never want to stretch a cold muscle. So we did the, uh, the wall ball um, squats and our walking lunges to get a little bit of blood in there, to get them going. Uh, the next exercise we're going to do is a tuck the knee into our chest. This is the opposite. It's going to start pulling a little bit in the hamstrings through the lower back, working the glutes there. It's getting our hip flexors engaged as well. But as you can see, every step Donnie's able to reach a little bit higher and a little bit higher. All right, our last uh, warm-up stretch is going to be a opposite foot to heel and extend out. Good. This really stretches the hamstrings, really stretches the lower back. We're also working a little bit of the shoulders. We're getting all the muscles activated for our first exercise, which is coming up. Another important muscle in beach volleyball and volleyball in general is the shoulders, uh, especially the rotator cuff. Uh, a lot of injuries occur in volleyball players in the rotator cuff from the amounts of swings they take or if they swing improperly. 
So it's good to have strong shoulders. So we're gonna just do some warm up exercises here to get our shoulders warmed up for this workout. So the first one's gonna be some big circles forward. Again, we're working on our range of motion. And backwards. Opening up the chest, engaging those shoulders. Getting that rotator cuff going. Now we're gonna do some smaller circles. This engages the traps a little bit more. Both heads of the delts are getting engaged as well. It's always good to properly warm up your shoulders before you do any type of sports that um, include a throwing motion, a hitting motion, serving motion. All right, the next set of exercises we're gonna do really engages the back of the um, shoulders and again, the rotator cuff. It's gonna be a small circle forward. Again, this is working that range of motion and the other way. Stretching out the back, all the muscles through the back and our shoulders. You can do this without weight as well, but we added a little bit of tension here to get the muscles a little bit stronger. The last one we're gonna do is called a halo. The elbows wanna stay right by the ears there. And again, small circles one way. Small circles the other way. Good. So we would do two to three minutes of these exercises in this concession here to warm up the shoulders before any type of exercise or before a game or practice. All right, this is another great exercise um, in our active stretch. This is really gonna stretch out the hamstrings, um, engage the core, and also work a little bit on the upper body. It's called the centipede. So Ronnie's gonna reach down, slowly walk out with his hands, again, engaging the shoulders, down to his elbows there, hold, engage the core, and now he's gonna walk his feet in. Good, stretching those hamstrings out, and now back the other way. Engage the core again, and now using the upper body, push himself back up. Good. Typically, again, we would do eight to 10 of these reps, um, kind of in a slow motion. Each rep, we would try to gain more and more range of motion uh, to get our total body uh, warmed up for our workout. All right, our first uh, exercise we're gonna do is a modified deadlift. Instead of using a barbell with the weights on the side, Donnie's gonna hold on to the plates. Um, one of the reasons I like to use the plates here is, um, as opposed to the bars, when the bar is in the front, uh, my clients tend to fall forward and engage a lot of their lower back and get into bad positions. But with the plates here, it's more of a natural movement. It's gonna be dropping straight down and coming straight up. So I'll have Donnie demonstrate a couple here. Can you drop straight down? Good. All the way down, have those weights touch the ground. There you go, good. Now, a deadlift is a great exercise for building explosiveness in the legs and the lower back, both of which muscles you need to engage for jumping. This is also working the stabilizers in his shoulders, his ankles, and his calves as well. Good, now I'm gonna show you another ang angle here. All right. So go ahead and drop down. You can see here, this is a perfect position. Donnie doesn't have his back rounded at all. The weight's coming down even with his knee. Everything is in line. He's powering through his heels and coming straight up. We would typically do three sets of five to six reps um, but since we're in season, we're using a little bit lighter weight um, and we're gonna do eight to 10 reps for three sets. Go ahead. All right, the next exercise we're doing is a variation of a Bulgarian split squat, uh, but we're gonna use a plyo box and we're gonna actually go so hard that Diane's gonna come off the ground and land. So it's somewhat of a plyometric move, um, but it's also a great strengthening move for the legs and the shoulders. So one leg's gonna go back here. Gonna walk that foot out a little bit, okay? Get into a good athletics 
split um, squat position here, and he's going to pile up, land soft, and go again. Good. He's going to do five each leg. Again, the emphasis here is controlling that front foot. We don't want the knee to go out over the toe. Switch legs. And this is basically the movement you would make on an approach um, to spike a volleyball. You're connecting the legs and the arms together, and exploding up off the ground. Good. We would do three sets of uh, five for each leg. Um, in season, off season, we would actually add a little weight, maybe a vest um, or some stability balls with some weight in them to the shoulders, and we would do a lower rep. All right, our next exercise is working on the core. This is not only gonna work the um, obliques, but it's also gonna work the uh, full abdominal wall. Um, your abdominals and your core are very important in beach volleyball. Um, every move that you make, whether it's hitting or setting or passing, you're engaging the core. So Donnie's gonna do a three part exercise here. He's gonna go side, up with a crunch, Side again, and up. As we come up and crunch, we're engaging the uh, abs, and as we go to the side, we're engaging our obliques and our hip flexors. We want to breathe out on the exertion. So as he comes up, his breath goes out, good, contracting, getting a good stretch to the side, and up. Using a uh, medicine ball also starts to engage a little bit of our shoulders, so we're working a little bit on the rotator cuff as well. A couple more. Good, try to get that ball up here. Ball up here. Good, there you go, good reach. And side. Good, we would do 15 to 20 um, of these and typically three to four sets. Okay, our next exercise that we're fading into is more of a plyometric move. Um, this is a basic plyo jump. This box here is about 26, 27 inches. Um, Donnie's gonna explode up onto the box, um, using his legs and his shoulders to propel him up, land soft on the box, and then he's gonna do a full extension so we engage the hips in the lower back. Let's try a couple here. Good, full extension, good. Good, this is pretty easy for Donnie again. This is an in-season workout. So we're not going really, really hard, but what we're trying to do is get his muscles conditioned again, get him ready for his next tournament. Again, off season, we would maybe use a weight vest, we would use a higher box. Good, and we would typically do three sets of eight to 10 of this in season. And the off season, like I said, we would use maybe a, a weighted vest and a bigger box and keep our reps a little bit lower. All right, this next uh, exercise uh, we're using the hurdles here, and Donnie's going to explosively jump from hurdle to hurdle forward. Uh, when he gets down to the end, he's going to change direction, come back one side, change direction again, and then do another side jump. So again, this is working on our explosiveness and change of direction. Good. Going down, turning, and coming back. Good. Another side. A reason we're adding is, is a side jump in there is a lot of times when you're blocking at the net, you might have to take a quick movement over and block and then take another quick movement and over and block again. The forward jumping, of course, is working on our approaches for our jumps. Okay, our next exercise, again, we're using the hurdles here. This is gonna be another plyo exercise, but it's also gonna work on our conditioning. So Donnie's going to make a, a movement over to the middle, back to the side, back to the middle again. Uh, we're going to do 30 seconds on, rest for 30 seconds, then go 30 seconds again. And again, this is working on a quick, fast jump. We're not so worried about the height on this one as we are how many we can get done in a 30 second time span. Again, this is part of the conditioning part of the workout. Good. And stop. 
Okay, the next exercise we're gonna do is a little bit of upper body work, also working on explosiveness through the legs. This is a very sport specific exercise. Uh, Donnie's gonna perform five push-ups. On his fifth push-up, he's gonna hold it till I say go. When I say go, he's gonna explode up out of that stance and touch the volleyball. A lot of times in beach volleyball, you have to get up off the ground, make a dig, get back on the ground, make a dig. So this is conditioning uh, for that sport there. So we're gonna get down in a good plank position. He's gonna do his five push-ups. And his fifth one he's gonna hold, head up. You're gonna see the ball, go. Float about, good. And back. Do another one. Now we've got a little added resistance here with our band. And go. Good. Typically, again, we would do uh, three to five sets of that and four to five push-ups, depending on um, the experience of the person being trained. Okay, our last exercise is going to be a variation of sprints. Sprints is a great exercise to build explosiveness, really through the whole body. Um, this works on not only a, a jump but also works on the quickness. Again, like we talked about before, um, you have to cover a lot of ground when you're playing two-man beach volleyball. And this helps you change direction, uh, explosiveness, and a total body exercise. So what happens, Donnie's gonna do kind of a depth fall here off the, off the small box. He's gonna do a huge plyo jump over the hurdle. And as soon as he hits the ground, do a full sprint. So let's show you something. Okay. Yeah, and this exercise really works on a lot of different muscles. Uh, a lot of leg, a lot of drive through the shoulders and the chest as we're sprinting, and also through the calves for the explosiveness. Let's try one more. Just gonna fall off there, explode, land, and go. Good. 